going on, my Super Sandwiches? Ryan Style here. Today, bringing some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And today, I'm actually very excited about this EZA because Janimba, one of my favorite old school units, got an EZA. And not just an EZA, but a really, really good one. So, without further ado, let's go and jump in. Before I start, I'm gonna show you guys something. <laughs> I realized in my video yesterday, I had a bunch of stuff reversed. And you're probably wondering, Ron, why do you have none of that stuff awakened? The reason why is because uh, at the time when I had all these units, I was pulling these units out of a... I don't remember which banner it was, but most of these units were available, available in a single banner. And I kept pulling them out. Okay, you know what? If I want to keep some in that banner, I'm just going to reverse them because I pulled dupes of them. And keep them reversed until the banner goes away. And then I never re-reversed them back into their uh, UR states. That's why. Because uh, you can see, I'm like literally like, like one away or two away for some of these to max out. And that's why I did that. So if you're wondering why everybody that commented a thousand times, like, why is Vegito Blue unawoken? He's awoken. It's just he was reversed for the purpose of me being trying to potentially pull the last copy of it. That's why. Because I swear, every single time I pull a dupe and I reverse a card, I pull another copy of that card like the next day. That's why. That, that's exactly what kept happening. And I figured, uh, you know what? I want to be able to just reverse it once. And then once the banner is safely gone, then we can jump in. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this actual thing now, because I kind of want to address that, because everybody was commenting about it, and, and that's pretty much why. Janimba. So this is going to be fairly easy. I believe the fusion category is... The, did I just screw up something? What did I just do? What did I just do? <gasps> I'm an idiot! <laughs> I mean, it's going to work out, but I'm an actual idiot. I brought the wrong fusion. Whatever, that's fine. Let's do... We'll do, uh, I guess... Uh, we'll do. We'll, we'll do this... We'll do that. I can't believe I brought the wrong fusion. Look at that. We're like two seconds into the video, and I'm already screwing up. This is y'all fault. Y'all over here got me thinking about, you know, my, my, my screw up uh, in in the last video. Even though it, really, it wasn't a screw up because I still beat the mode, but still. I, whatever. Let's just, get, let's just get past this. At least it wasn't the final stage. If this is the final stage, this would actually hurt. <laughs> 53,000. Imagine trying to super attack with 53,000. Imagine hopping in with Vegito. I'm such an idiot. I was so used to just seeing it be set up. Wow, this is going to do like no damage. I was so used to uh, seeing uh, Gogeta at the top when I was hopping into this event. And that's why I clicked that so fast, but whatever. Super Ghost. The reason I'm using this Gotenks is just because he looks cool. Honestly, I love that attack animation and he links pretty well on his team. But that's pretty much why. Wow, this uh, <laughs> this Gogeta is going to screw me here. So I guess we'll do that. At least it's going to... Can you link these two? They can. They absolutely can. Let's do... Well, that's going to be an ultra super attack as well. Not that it matters because it's going to do like no damage. And then I guess we can do this. I just have to power through this fight, and then I should be good. Because I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. So as long as we can just uh, blow Janimbo away here, we should be Gucci. As always, uh, I ask this every single EZA video. What's the next EZA unit you want to see come out in the game? I got to go with Strength Gogeta. Give me Strength Gogeta. If you're going to toss out Janimba, Strength Gogeta has to be next. On top of that, it fits with the whole Broly movie coming out. Even though it probably wouldn't happen today, or I guess this month, because we just got Janimba. And usually they kind of spread out their EZA, so uh, it's not all once, but you get the point. Okay, let's finish it off by doing that. We'll do... We'll do... I guess we'll do that. And then we'll do... Maybe... Uh, I wanted to, I really wanted to save these. Well, you know what? Honestly, the, the Gogeta's not going to do that much damage, so I'm going to just go ahead and do that. I'm going to just have him, there, have him be there just in case he super attacks me, and, hope, and potentially, hopefully, we get a counter attack on that as well. Meanwhile, you're going to let uh, Gotenks, you know, take all the damage over here in the middle. Um, which, he should be he should be pretty decent at tanking it, even though his defense... Never mind, he's dead. We're, we're good, we're good. Alright, we survived the mistake. We survived the mistake. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy seeing the Dokkan Battle content, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up. Let's go for, uh, I don't know, 3,000 likes. Toss it out there again. This is like my goal. I always go for, um, why not? If you want to hit that thumbs up, go for it. All right, let's do this the correct way. So we want to do that and that. There we go. All right, there we go. There we go. I think what happened is, is, is I saw it 100%. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Not realizing that what I clicked on was actually Vegito, but whatever. It worked out, okay? As, as long as you complete the challenge and you beat the event and beat the whatever is in front of you, it doesn't matter how you do it. That's how I see it. All right. Uh, by the way, as far as weaknesses, I don't really know much about this event because, like I said, I almost never do homework, homework on these things. But, uh, is, let's take a push in the back, is, um, is the, is, is Intelligence Gogeta, like, not as powerful against this Janimba? Like, 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 let me know in the comments section below, because I noticed that he's been hitting a lot less, and this is the part where Aaron's hammering away, Ryan, how did you not read the rules? I don't, I just jump and record usually, that's how it works. 
because uh, usually when I try to look this stuff up, I almost never find it. I'm noticing that Gotenks has been doing most of the damage. Granted, he is—he does have top advantage. But every time I use, I think it's probably just intelligent units. Maybe he's like tanky against those. Yeah, he's definitely tanky against uh, intelligent units. That's what it has to be. I assume that's where it is. So uh, if you want to go ahead, <laughs> all bajillion of you guys who are about to comment this and let me know what the actual weakness is for this event. Not that it matters because by the time you watch this, I'm gonna be done with it. Go for it. Let me know what it is. Uh, we'll do we'll do this and lots of orbs there. Let's let's go and do that. Should be an ultra super attack as well. Yeah, just barely, just barely. He's dead. He's good as dead. I don't even want to bother with this event as far as like making it more challenging and using like a not tap advantage team because I figured we're just gonna blow through this real fast because I just want a unit. This is probably the first time in a long time because you probably noticed that I, I don't always easy aim my units. Uh, I will only usually easy aid units of characters that I, that I like. So, for example, I easy aid. I think the only thing I never really easy aid was the the, fa the family Kamehameha trio. So the Gohan, the Goku, and the Goten. Because I'm gonna be real with you, I don't like those units. I never use them. That's probably why. I mean, I get it. You know, when you easy aid unit, it becomes so powerful to the point where it's like viable and it keeps up with you know the units that have been coming out over the course of the last couple years. But I get that. But still, I you know I I always been the type of person that plays. The games that I like, I play what I like, uh, I play the teams that I like, and if I don't like it, I'm just not going to play it. It's just how I've always been. And I know I'm not the only one who's like that. I know a lot of you guys are like that as well, so you, you know exactly where I'm coming from. I mean, I'm the only person who's literally, well, not, I'm saying I'm the only person because there's been a bunch of people who have, but I'm one of, of like a few people that's been using Beerus since day one in Dragon Ball Fighters. And now that he's like got that crazy buff in the last patch, it's like, man, I've been there since day one. I had to struggle through the, the, the bad uh, setups that, that Beerus had at launch to fighters. Because I like the character so much, and I thought, in my opinion, he's one of the most funnest characters to use in the game. So yeah, that's why I want easy everything. Uh, I just kind of like, I just kind of put together what I like, and you know, because I, I, everybody has like the right to enjoy something the way they like it. I know you guys are out there. There's at least one of you out there that can probably feel that on a personal level right now. Like, you know what, Rhyme? I know exactly where you're coming from with that. I know exactly where you're coming from with that, but because I have friends like that, we're all about be optimal, do the best possible versus stop having fun. It's all about fun. At the end of the day, it's all about fun. And that's how I've always been feeling about, you know, any kind of game that I play. And look at that. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're still blowing through the event. You're still absolutely blowing through the event. Easy peasy. <laughs> Granted, I mean, of course, you know, I, I, this is a really powerful unit, so I'm not surprised. And I'm sure he's got the, uh, the type and event advantage against it. But whatever, whatever. All right. Uh, by the way, if this video gets to 3,000 likes, if we actually hit the goal on this one, I will do a. How about this? I will do a Janimba versus Gogeta, an old school Janimba versus Gogeta race with with Nano. So if you guys want that, I'll make you work for it. Make you work for it. Put a, put the challenge out there. And before you're like, Ryan, why are you making this work for content? Well, it's kind of fun. Because number one, if if I set out a goal and say, hey, I'll do X, Y, and Z, if y'all hit that goal. Then it tells me that you really want that. Otherwise, I have no clue. Because as I always mentioned, I'm usually working in the bubble. That's going to be five, right? Yeah, it's five. Oh, it's close. I'm usually working in the bubble. And I have no idea what's going on most of the time. Unless I get that direct feedback. That's just how it's always been. That's why I need you guys to talk to me. At any point in any video I put out, I'll be like, Rhyme, I don't like this. I like that. I read it all. You know, I actually like to be really, really in tune with my videos. And with you guys. Because obviously, if I'm making content that you don't like... Then it's like, what am I doing? I'm not, I'm not doing the right way. That's why I like to be like, you know, fully. Who are you attacking? Was that a? Uh... Okay, just making sure. Um, I like to be fully in tune with the community that, that we built around here and deliver the the best kind of content that you want to see. Because if I'm not doing that, I'm a failure. I'm failing you guys, and I don't want to be. I don't want to fail you guys uh, when it comes down to you know making these videos. Because I love doing this. Let's actually link you with Gogeta. Because why not? Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll do. It doesn't matter because we won. All right. So yeah. At any point in any video, let me know. And by the way, I'm gonna toss it out there again. If you guys are missing my streams, twitch.tv says flames. So it's been flames. I did a, I did like a four or five hour stream last night with the homies Golglow and Jericho and a couple others. Uh, Smash. We were playing just Smash. Just like literally after the stream was done, I couldn't breathe. Like I, my throat was just dead from laughing. So if you want to ever tune in on those as well, you know, by all means, go for it. I stream pretty much almost every day at four o'clock Pacific Standard Time, which is seven Eastern Time on the East Coast. And if you live across the world, I guess look up those times. But it's been a lot of fun. And it, I, I'm thinking I'm going to definitely do a lot of, like, live stuff as far as, like, Dokkan as well. Legends. Fire the Universe. I'm going to keep promoting it. I'm going to keep promoting it until you guys tell me to shut up. Well, actually, wait. Hopefully, I don't, I don't get that annoying. But 
you get the point i just want to play games i just want to play video games and have fun and hopefully everybody else is here is is down for that journey that's the goal that's always been the goal all right let's do well, let's put you in the front we'll do that uh we'll do one of these and oh isn't weirdest like isn't weirdest in a general ssr pool now i think that's what they were talking about a while back weirdest is a really really good unit you know, I've been preaching that since day one. I remember there was a period where D Freeza was yelling at me like, Take him off your team! No! I like this card, it's good! It's really great, and on top of that, it's amazing if you run LRs. Because even if it's a if it's not the correct LR, um, getting that much orbs in the field and with the with the setups with links, will always finish almost guarantee an 18 key plus uh, super attack. Unless you get into a bad situation where you don't get that kind of key built up. But you get the point, it's really great for super attacks. So yeah, if you do get a chance to pull in that man, and you pull him, congrats! He is a good card. I feel like this is going to be one of those units. I said this day one. He's definitely going to be one of those units that's going to be around for a long time. For a very, very long time. Because being able to change two orbs into one color is is clutch. It's super, super clutch. I wonder if the last part of this Genima fight is going to be any, like, like any more difficult. Because right now, I'm just blowing through it. Like, literally just blowing through like it's nothing. Like, I'm cutting through it like butter. I'm using, like, literally a steak knife or the sharpest knife possible. Heat it up on butter. That's exactly how this feels right now. Are we down to the last one? I think we're down to the last one. This also might be my fastest, easy video I've ever done. Yep, last stage. Usually it takes like about 20 something minutes, and here we are, like literally, uh, like 11 minutes into this video, into this recording. Wait, hey, whatever, man. Easy peasy. I'll take it. I want to be able to get that man maxed out and actually put him on a team, because again, Janimba has always been one of my favorite villains. Uh, I just love his design. I just absolutely love his design. Okay, let's see if this gets more difficult. So we got a lot of attacks in the back. Uh, I think. I think I'm gonna keep. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I, I'm gonna keep Gogeta in the back there. I'm gonna absolutely keep Gogeta in the back. That should be an ultra super attack. Yep. Or maybe I shouldn't. How much of a boost? Do you, oh, that's a much bigger boost. And you still got the. So, yeah, let's just try this. There's no way that he can kill. <laughs> Famous last words, right? There's no way that Janimba in the back can kill my Go Tank. So let's see what happens here. 70. And before we get like a double critical and just knock this man out like it's nothing. I kind of wish that. You could use, uh, literally what I just said! Critical? Watch this be a critical. Ah, oh my gosh, that's actually kind of wild. Um, it kind of sucks that we can't see the Gogeta and the Vegeta fusion that much with these two units, with both the LR version of it. Additionals left and right. Can I get a critical? How much would even a critical do on this? It would be, it would be like an 80% reduction, right? It wouldn't really matter. Um... It kind of sucks that we can't see the Vegito and the Gogeta fusion as much because I love using those cards. But again, the, uh, as I said since day one, it sucks that they have such a requirement because you almost never, you really ever, you never see that. You rarely ever see that. You never see that. Wow. I spoke way too soon. That did a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. All right, let's finish this man off. Let's do this. Right. Can I get, is there an extra link with you? There's not, but it doesn't matter because he's dead. Right? How much power? Actually, you get a little bit more power with him. Sure, we'll do that. It doesn't matter because we, we, we beat this. We completed this. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section below, a couple things. Number one, if we hit the 3,000 like goal, I'll come back and do a race with Nano. Uh, again, let me know which unit you want to see Easy 8 next. Let's see who can call it. Also, if you called Janimba in the last one, then send me a screenshot from the last video if you remember where you commented that. Because I know I definitely asked that before. But most of you, if you want to hit that, if you want to see that race, thumbs up. And uh, Easy 8 for the future down below. And yeah, don't forget twitch.tv slash rhyme style. I'll see you guys over there whenever I go live. I should be actually, by the time this video goes live, I should be live within either right now or within the next hour. So again, head over there and we can have some fun. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, slap a like on it. If you have any other feedback for me, leave it down below or tweet me at RhymeStyle. Tag me on Instagram. You know where I'm at. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. My name is RhymeStyle. I'll see you guys uh, in another video. Peace.